What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back to another Aoki Tuber. Listen, we are busting out the Syndra support. Uh, it has been a long time. This used to be one of my absolute favorites. Uh, I like what my ADC is saying, by the way. Play aggro level two. Got it, bro. I want to fight too. Uh, but yeah, Syndra support used to be one of my absolute favorites. I really, really, oh my god. Alright, uh, looks like it's gonna be one of those lanes, boys. I probably should have known when we, they have a Pantheon brand, that they're just gonna play for cheese. But yeah, Sin as I was saying before, I was rudely jumped on. Uh, Cinder Sport used to be one of my absolute favorites. Uh, I really think this champion is a very, very low econ, uh, carry. Oh, this guy's dead. Oh, this guy's dead. Which means that guy's dead too. <laughs> Oh my god, man. Let me just get through my intro, guys. There's way too much action going on down here. Uh, but yeah, she's a very, very low econ carry, which means basically, uh, as you can tell, you've got great damage at level 1. You don't need, like, three items to be able to one-shot people on this champion. You literally just need, like, one item. Ludens into either Storm Surge or Shadow Flame. Absolutely in insane 1v9 carry potential. And, uh, yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. I've seen a lot of Syndra one-shots this season. I feel like this more than ever, maybe with like the itemization changes or the meta changes, feels like now more than ever, Syndra is like a very, very scary deadly champion. So full runes, guys, we got uh, Electrocute, Taste of Blood, Eyeball Collection, Ultimate Hunter, Manifold Band, Transcendence, Attack Speed, AP, uh, Health, Scaling Health. And yeah, the level 1 damage you can do with just Q is very, very strong because it's such a low cooldown ability. Because you can do it whether they're hiding in the minion wave, whether they're, you know, behind the minion wave, doing whatever. Uh, your Q, you can fight really, really hard at level 1. Then of course at level 2, you got your access to your knockback. And then at level 3, easy GG. Actually, I mean, the level 3 really doesn't mean all that much, other than just being able to proc electrocute quicker. But everyone knows, like, what happens at level 6, right? I, I don't need to explain that. Level 6 is pretty much a guaranteed kill on Syndra in... Well, I, I, can't, I can't imagine too many matchups that can actually survive that. So I'm going to pick up the CS that Twitch is going to miss the turret. I mean, we can actually go here. So my combo is going to be uh, QE, stun... And then after the stun wears off, I'm going to pick up a minion and throw it at them because that's going to hit them with the uh, the slow. Slowed. Got Twitch catch up. Boom. Boom. Beautiful. Pantheon's already used to stun. Get in a few auto attacks there. Are we getting ganked? Because if so, we're actually chill. I, I kind of hope we're getting ganked because we have an entire minion wave to fight in. So yeah, these guys locked in. Grand Pantheon. They they thought they were gonna do something crazy here. Oh no. It's gonna have his E up. Oh, I can't hit him, bro. No. Yeah, they they thought they were gonna cheese us, but Syndra's a very, very cheese champion. Hmm? Oh wow. Hit him with the stun. Hit him with the slow. Throw a Q at him. I don't think we could ac actually kill here, bro. It's a little unfortunate. It's okay, though. I'm chilling. We're going to go back. We can go CDR boots or sort shoes. Um, it really just kind of depends what you're going for here. This guy wants to fight again. <laughs> uh, we, we can't go on Pantheon, bro. We cannot go on Pantheon, bro. He just eased too much damage. Oh, okay, maybe I was wrong. Dude, I gotta say, I kinda like this Twitch. Trying to get t minion aggro off of him. Sweet. Good job, bro. Yeah, I didn't think we'd be able to go on Pantheon there because of his E. Another nice thing about Syndra is you've got great wave clear with Q QW. Alright, I'm gonna leave a ward there. Stuff, man. We cannot contribute anything to this dragon. I only know aggro. My man, yo. No, say, wait. Where has this ADC been my whole life, man? I can't even believe I'm saying this, but I, I think I like this ADC. All right. 
Uh, another rune page you can go, by the way, if you want to play more poke rather than like all in, is airy. Airy is really, really nice with Q because you can just press Q and it's like 30 extra damage every time. Very low cooldown, very non committal. And that way you kind of like save a lot of your mana. But this lane is just like, it's so all in on both sides. Oh no, I missed. Should have played that slower. But yeah, the airy page is really nice just for like some hit and run poke. You don't ever really want to go Comet on this champ because your Q won't proc as slow, which means your Comet will miss. And then your QE will knock them out of the Comet. So if you're going to go for like a poke build rather than all in build like this, uh, Aerie's the way to go. But yeah, one of my favorite off meta supports is Syndra. I think you guys are going to see exactly why at level 6. Got him ignited. Just need a little bit more damage. Nice. Dude, let's freaking go, man. We are gaming out here. Up you in there. I'm holding on to my E. I'm not pushing with E because we need it for um, knockback for when Aurelian Soul ganks. I'm waiting until he Qs. He's my stun. But he just literally never Qs, so we got a bunch of free damage. I've got my ult. Dude, honestly, I'm down to stay again, man. This is actually so brutal. Spam a bunch of abilities while he's trying to chase me. Hit him with that. Um, I could stay in lane here. I need, you essentially need 250 mana to use your full combo. Not even your full combo. It would be like Q, E, and to R. But before you use your R, you want to get a few Qs out there. Because it does more damage based on how many balls are out there. So if you got more balls, you're going to do more damage. Space in that. These guys are both super dead. No way, bro. No way. I think the exhaust, like, exhausted just the last part of my ult. Ah, that was just me being a little unfamiliar with my damage there, but... Alright, sweet. Didn't quite find him. I guess I'll just stay for this play gold. Seems wasteful to leave. If you guys have any other crazy favorite off metas that you guys want to see me play, definitely let me know down in the comments. Always open to him. This guy wants me so bad. This guy wants me so bad. That's fine, because I kind of want him to. Oh. Dude, he just can't kill us. This has to be, like, so infuriating for him. Playing a cheese lane like this and just not being able to kill anything. Too funny. Under <laughs> I just got freaking opened up on. Yo, my Twitch is a demon, man. What is this? I, I cannot stress enough, like, how much I hate Twitch players because they never look like this. This is, this is the first Twitch player that is just like, this guy actually knows what he's doing. All right, we're gonna go full Luden's Companion. Very, very broken item. Perfect item for Syndra anyways. It's wanting me to go Storm Surge. Honestly, I might just because it's such a satisfying, like the, the explosion. But it's, it's mathematically, it's not that good. I still might go it, but I would recommend if you are like tryharding, wanting to climb, uh, go Shadow Flame second. It's a really, really nice uh, pin item. I can just like one shot this guy. Okay. Not quite getting the kill onto him. 
three seconds on my stun. Ah. Just kill him with the next rotation. Seconds on my stun. Hmm. He did a Q or an auto and ignite and we were killed there. Ouch. Alright, let's go get our dragon that we've earned. I just want to post up in bushes like this and like fish for stuns. Like that. It's over. This is... GG's guys, team was just better. Ain't that the truth. Should. <laughs> that was kind of weird. Oh no. Save me bro! Oh my god, am I not gonna die? Wait, no way. Oh yeah, one thing that you can- I think they removed the Q- the EQ by the way. Did they remove the QE? Or EQ? So you can E and then put a, a, a ball out. You used to be able to do that. Did they remove that? Did I do it wrong? Wait, that was actually so OP. I'm gonna try to do it to this guy. <laughs> I went down to 7 HP. <laughs> That's so funny. Alright, uh, so maybe it has to be max range. They've either- Oh! My god. That seemed so personal. Okay, now I'm going Storm Surge. Now, now I'm going to make you guys explode. I'm just trying to test out if they remove the mechanic, man. Yeah, it actually doesn't do it anymore. Wow. That used to be like a really cheeky way to get like a cheese stun on people. Because people will like be watching the balls and be like, oh man, if I'm just not near the balls, I can't get stunned. But then you could literally stun by spawning a ball on top of them. Wow, they actually removed that. That was like, that was like the only real Syndra mechanic. <laughs> I got the last auto. Nice. So yeah, as you can tell, Syndra's uh, a little terrifying this season. Go down brand here. Pop. Data. I'm only typing that to him, guys, because he typed it to us. <laughs> Dude, look at that. The damage with the Ludens and the Zaxax -Zax is actually so nuts. I can get him blind. Got him stunned up. Easy follow up for my team. I do get a planet dropped on my head, but it's okay. It was kind of a cool experience. They have a Dr. Mundo? Uh oh. Wait, I might I might be dead. I'm chilling. Oh my god. Later! <laughs> He didn't even hit the ball. No! I mean, they get those freebies every now and then when they've got flash. It is what it is. Can win! <laughs> True. Alright, I need 150 gold and we've got our full storm surge. Wow, 
My. Oh my, can win, can win. Oh, this is such a good dragon to get with this jam too. Yes. I'm literally going to be like a thunder god with Hextech Soul. Assuming we get it. All right, this guy's super dead. I got 10 seconds on my ulti. I just need to knock him out of his flight path here. Which means I'm not using my Q. I just have to hold him here. Wow, no way. I That actually did not connect. I'm so sad. We might be able to get him here again. Five seconds. Hmm. Yeah, I just couldn't afford to get stunned by Pantheon there. I could have taken Aurelian Soul down with me, but I didn't want to give Pantheon the dopamine of killing me. Also, it's important to note that your Q has no cast animation. So watch this. I'm pathing here. I can Q there without interrupting. There's there's no animation. So that's why I was able to slow, or that's why I was able to Q Pantheon as he was chasing me. I couldn't go for W because W does have a cast animation, I think. Oh, no, it doesn't. Okay, it's, ju it's just E that does. E He's the only one with the cast animation. I told you guys, it's been a while since we played her. Alright, I got full storm surge. I'm going back. I mean, this is the damage we're doing with one item. Like, it's it's a little disturbing, right? And then we can go Zonia's for for when we when we get flash stunned by Pantheon. I don't I don't really feel like giving him those kills anymore. Nine X volley went AFK. Oh, we made him go AFK. Neat. Nito. Wait, yeah, wasn't he? He was like literally. He was grandstanding about how this bot lane is the problem, and then he literally goes AFK. Oh! Tier 2 ulti time, boys. Let's make someone go boom before they FF. Alright. I'm not gonna lie, what I'm about to do is very, very personal. Your turret has been destroyed. All I can say is talk shit, get hit, man. Nice flash. Nice flash. No, mine actually was a good flash, though. Uh, mine actually was a good flash, though. Oh. <gasps> oh. That stuff was floating in the air. Did you guys see that? Keep hitting it. All right, 20 seconds on my ulti. I got Storm Surge up again. We can get one more kill. That actually kills me? Oh, I'm so sad, man. Oh, no, he's gonna type. No, he's gonna type. He's gonna type. <laughs> he earned that one. Oh, it was the turret shot that did me in. 700 damage from turret, okay. Okay, I see how it is then. Oh! Alright, alright. Um... Well, we gotta kinda sit on 500 gold here. The Zonia's build path is so terrible now. Very hard to get item. I kind of miss going Zonius every game. You guys remember that era of Aoki? Where I just said Zonius is the best item because it literally was. It's definitely not the best item now. Now it has to be used well to even be worth its like admission fee. <laughs> like getting the item. 
Whereas before, like, you could get, like, what was it? Stopwatch for 700 gold. And, like, that is just the biggest value ever. More. I can be so much if used correctly. More. Man, Rally Soul is really going to bail this guy out. All right, we getting free Baroon. They won't even come close. I actually should be maxing my uh my W here, by the way. Later. <laughs> I should be maxing my W. I forgot my E doesn't um lower the cooldown. So even though E is a more important tool, you definitely max W second. You get so like look at everything that that skills with cooldown, mana cost, damage, slow. Well, okay, the mana cost gets worse, but. Everything else gets better compared to just putting points into E, which would just be damage. Right? Hey. Watch this. I'm going to deny him the kill. <laughs> Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, three seconds. Nice! Brand's dead. Hey! Get my ulti on him. Certainly I don't die to this, right? Oh my god, I actually do. Oh, Bully Bear's still here! What, is, what a plot twist. Yeah, I'll definitely be uh, reporting that Bully Bear. I will absolutely be reporting him. Um, yeah, so take a look at the damage charts, guys. 29,000 damage. Our ADC actually out damages. Again, huge shout out to this guy. I never see that. I, I literally have a vendetta against Twitch players because they are always worthless. But that guy made his mission statement very clear at the beginning. He said, we're playing for level two. We are playing aggro. We're going deeps. And he, he followed through. So big shout out to that guy. Uh, Volleybear, you're a dweeb, you're a nerd, you're a loser. Take it easy, boys. Peace. Uh.